And hello my lovelies, it is Tori the Hope Dealer and welcome to my channel Guided Intuition. I am here my babies, my Leos, with your May monthly spiritual message from Spirit. Okay, um, this is what Spirit ultimately wants you to pay attention to for the month of May going into June. However, Leos... Off bet, um, usually I try to do a balance of right over here. I'll give what spirit wants you to know for the month of May in love and just regularly. What's crowning you and what the words that um, angels, that your angels, your guides and spirit wants you to carry at the forefront of your mind for the month of May. However, I can tell right now, Leo's, this is a love reading. This is a love reading like all around when I was shuffling, when I was saging, I'm um, just really um, getting ready and tapping into your energy. I can tell that m the month of May and going into J um, June is going to be a time of you guys really being honest with yourself, um, reflecting, um, looking at situations, people really pulling off that mask that Leo um, wears sometimes um, so you can ultimately get the relationship you desire. But I see that it's going to, you're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to look at things that are no longer a person, you know, that maybe you're with or you're trying to pursue or that you need to let go of um, energetically or physically so you can now can you can allow this new individual to um come in leo because love has called your name and spirit wants to bless you with the ultimate relationship however it's some things that you have to untangle yourself for from in order to see this 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 beautiful being that is coming into your life that it's ultimately going to be the person that you've been manifesting with yourself knowing or without knowing but you've been manifesting something amazing and spectacular and spirit really wants to bless you with that so this is going to be your monthly may monthly love reading leo as always guys any information concerning me or guided intuition yeah guided intuition i'm so sorry guys you can find all information in the description box and guys subscribe <laughs> Like, comment, um, if you would like to contact me concerning a um, personal reading, you can um, you can email me at guidedintuition18 at gmail.com. My website is coming, so that's going to be up soon. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, as always, you have to understand how this works. This might resonate with you and it might not resonate with you. And if it doesn't, that's totally fine. It's so many amazing, talented YouTubers out there that are sharing their gifts. Or that's a YouTubers. Um, spiritual beings out there that are sharing their gifts. You are bound to find someone who is picking up on your energy. So if it doesn't fit, doesn't force, don't force it. You know, just go to the next. So I just want to thank you guys. And I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and so much peace. So Leos, 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 Leos. Let's get into it. Even when I was saging and, you know, meditating on your energy and shuffling the cards, um, honesty came up. Truth. So you're going to have to be honest with yourself and you're going to have to really be intimate. And sometimes that can require, there could be some things that you're unaware of um, in your conscious mind. That you're going to have to dig deep into to unpick and unroot those negative thoughts, those negative beliefs concerning yourself. I'm really seeing the month of May as a time for you to really work on your, um, oh my God, what is it, your solar plex chakra, your yellow, I can see a yellow chakra, but really incorporating more yellow fruits and vegetables, um, into your diet and really, I think it's your solar plex. Um, that's how you show up to the world. That's your confidence. That's who you are. And I'm seeing that you guys um, need to work on that. 
in the month of May to really get the desires of your heart to flourish um, and manifest outwardly. Okay. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, right here, we have what is crowning you for the month of May. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and turn these around. Wait, I'll put some right here. So I'm sorry. All right. So when I say what's crowning you, ultimately means what is what is at the forefront of your mind what are you thinking about constantly you're going to find yourself thinking about constantly in the month of may if you haven't already experienced it um understand dates it can resonate now or it can resonate later it just depends on where you are exactly in your journey however i see you emerging in the month of may it's some things that you realize that slowly but surely and for a lot of you it's slowly but surely you're realizing some things about yourself and you're emerging to your truth and it can be all of it is working positively <laughs> however um it's some things that you realize that you just really you know that maybe you believe that you could possibly be doing wrong in a relationship or wrong when it comes to a relationship or something that you're thinking wrong, like maybe, you know, you don't think this person wants you or maybe they're lying or, you know, you put on one face. For some of you, I'm saying that you put on one face. However, that's truly not how you feel inside. So I see you really emerging and showing your true self and um, just really being intimate and honest and open with the person. However, um, if you haven't, you want for some of you, you want to do that, but you haven't got there. It's because it's some things that, like I said, is important you be truth, being truthful to yourself. Some things that you have to work out, some things that you have to overcome. So the real you can emerge, okay? You're reflecting. Your reflection. You're reflecting on past relationships, past things, past, um, you know, situations that brings up these emotions in yourself. Is making you look at yourself. You are shedding, shedding those old things. So this new um, way of thinking can emerge because you have you're thinking that you're thinking about new beginnings. You have some new beginnings that are trying to manifest, that are trying to um, emerge out. However, um, you keep reflecting on your past, and that is ultimately, you know have you literally in the middle you know you're up and down up and down leo because um it's some things that you have to let go you have new beginnings in front of you i see you emerging in your truth you want to let you know stop reflecting on the past and let that go and move on to your new beginnings but it's something stopping you you know and um again i believe that is with your confidence that's what spirit keeps telling me it's it has to do with your solar plex chakra so you can look at that, the yellow chakra your confidence and how you show up into the world. That's how, you know, again, you show up to the world. That's why you see you're emerging out. So some of you guys are getting it. Some of you guys are probably already past that. And some of you guys will be experiencing that, okay? So that is what's crowning you on the month of May. You know, you are in the middle. You're reflecting. You're looking at the new beginnings. You're being positive. However, the past is still there. You're still reflecting on the past. But ultimately, I see you emerging. I see you emerging out of that, letting that past go and just coming into the new beginnings. Understanding that the past is the past. It has nothing to do with your current situation if you don't let it, okay? So, yeah, that is what's crowning you. Sorry, guys. We're going to put this, like, literally right there. I always do this. I can't see what I'm saying. I just ordered my table. I can't wait till I get it. <laughs> okay, so now um, we're going to go over what message the spirit have for Leo about love in the month of May, okay? Hold on. First, go to my wildwood deck. Okay. Told you. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I told you. Don't worry, I'm going to pick up these cards individually. Okay. Now, going to back to... Um, going back to uh, what's crowning you, okay? 
you keep reflecting. New beginnings are ahead of you. You're emerging. However, you keep reflecting. Remember how it was. You have new beginnings in front of you. However, you keep reflecting on the past. In that past, you have the three of arrows. And that deals with past heartbreaks, um, past letdowns, third parties, cheaters, liars, you know, manipulation, all, all those things. You keep um, reflecting on that. Okay. Um, and um, the insecurities. Again, like I said, because, you know, the hurt, what you've been through, you know, your ins and the insecurities are coming in because you have the king, the knight of um, vessels that talks about someone coming in, someone coming in to um, to bring you that true, that true unionship, that spirit wants to bless you with, that spirit wants to get, give you, that they want to gift you with. However, um, it, he can't come in and start this because of the insecurity of past heartbreaks see the past heartbreaks you know and the insecurities about yourself and you know I feel even for some of you you can be like oh you know he's probably lying she's probably lying they're probably about games yeah I'm not going to do this I'm not going to give this a try or even if you're single um Something wants to come in. However, you have to release these, you know, for a lot. Some of you, I'm feeling like a third party. You have to, you have to release that. Understand that's done. That's over with. You have new coming in. So deal with these insecurities. Let that situation go. So the new can come in. Okay. And if you're already in this relationship, there's someone that has piqued your interest and y'all in that new stage. Give this a chance because this is, this is the real deal. However, you're still judging them or, you know, moving on the emotions of past betrayals. You know, this person has nothing to do with this. Okay. Um, and then you have the Blastic Oak, which is typically the tower card. So, um, this is divine. This individual, what I'm getting here is this individual is divine this is like a soulmate connection this is like a um twin flame someone that you have been manifesting from it's this is he he or she is divinely sent put it that way okay so it's important that you you know do the things that you release that past relationship that you release that past you know situation so you can receive this new one okay and also in love, see, I told you, this could be the one. You've already met the romant romantic partner you seek. There's a new individual coming in. You've already met him or for some, it's, this is the new person that is coming in if you haven't already met them. Um, it says, let go of control issues. Going again, your insecurities. You are trying to control the situation because you believe that they're going to do the same thing like the other person doing. For some of you, I'm thinking, you I like, Oh, you know, they kind of remind you of an ex. So you're like, yeah, they, mm -hmm, they're they just about that same game. However, they're not. This is truly genuine. This is divine. This is, um, you know, the universe that's at work, you know, it's just telling you to you have to let go of the control issues and just let it flow. You know, allow the situation to unfold naturally. OK. Mm -hmm, told you release your ex. You got to release you know, you have to release this individual. And for some of you, maybe you've already physically moved out of the energy, um, the, the relationship. However, you have to release them energetically because you're still holding on. You're still holding on to this, this individual when clearly you have new beginnings and something that's worthwhile coming in. You know, this person is the real deal. And let's go over here because this is what um, spirit wants you to know for the month of May that can ultimately bring you know, fulfillment in your life and even concerning this, um, this unionship. See, it's been a struggle. You know, you have the, um, the eight of arrows. Um, it's been a struggle, you know, for some of you, I feel like it's been a struggle to even like accept the new beginning, accept this because you felt so much pain and so much heartbreak from someone. And then for some of you, I feel like, you know, it's a struggle for you to let this to let the situation go, but you have to understand it had to happen to get you where you are now. Okay. So you can, you know, it, we, we all have to learn lessons and, um, lessons in life. However, they, they, they make you stronger. They help you grow. 
and you needed whatever that individual did to you, you needed that to happen. I know it sounds crazy, but that spirit wants me to say you needed it to happen because ultimately it made you into a stronger, smarter, brighter person. Okay, so you don't have to struggle. You don't. You can let that. You can release that because. You have the power inside of you to create your wildest dreams. That's why this relationship is going to come in. But first, you have to release your ex. You have to, you know, I like to energetically, um, I'll write a letter getting all those emotions out of me. Don't judge. Don't judge your emotions. Just get them all out. And then I like to burn them outside and I release them to the universe and the energy and the earth. Because this, um, like you said, you have the power to create whatever you want. Yes, you have the queen of queen of um the queen of bows, and this talks about the rabbit is you know um fertility. I'm, I'm the, for t- for t- fertility. I'm so sorry. They talk um you have been on a journey. Yes, you have. However, you're not looking back. You're moving forth. And though you know this relationship, this situation took you for a fucking whirlwind, you are here, you are standing, you are surviving. That's all that matters. Keep it moving to your abundance. You have the six of bows. Again, this relationship that just really is ultimately going to leave you with fulfillment. Okay, but however, you have the um the word, you, the wood word, you have it um, reversed, and this is a strength card. So you're not feeling, you know, strong. You know, you're you're not believing you can because right now insecurities are are plaguing your head. However, you have the strength. It just is this about you? You know, you don't feel like it's a time of you know. You have the eight of bows, and this talks about like basically like a well, a, a job well done. You know, um, when you've come to an ending of something, it's over. However, it was reversed, so you're not letting this person go. And in order to receive this beautiful, beautiful gifts, baby, you just have to release this individual, release it. See, because you have divine life purpose. Tr- um, trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Going again, I um, this totally brought me back to something. When I was shuffling your guys' card, your intuition is screaming at you. You know what to do. The fact that you're even here, this is just confirmation because you know what to do. Your intuition is screaming at you. Listen to your intuition, Leo, in the month of May. If you don't do it any other time, do it in the month of May because you guys are very intuitive. You are very in tune and you're in alignment. You are receiving, we all do, but you are receiving direct guidance. It's screaming at you. So just listen. And in what spirit wants you to focus on, keep on the forefront of your mind in the month of May, okay? Look at this, listening. Listen to your intuition, Listen to your intuition, baby. You guys have to listen to your intuition, okay? It's asking for awareness. Be aware of things, you know? Yes, that situation happened. Yes, they betrayed you. Yes, they hurt you. But guess what? I bet you can honestly say no one will ever get the opportunity to do that to you again. You learn from it. And that's so, you know, that's that's a perfect way to be. However, you don't want to be so like, oh, no one's ever going to do that to me again, that you don't let anything in. That's that's not the way to be. So have awareness, have a, you know, a balance. Listen to your intuition when they're telling you, okay, you don't have to have have your guards up like that with this individual. They're not such and such. Okay. And just understand it's a time of me. It's a time, month is, May is a a time for you just to really embody in self-care. I'm actually going to be, I'll probably do it for all signs, um, some self-care tips. So you might want to tune back in and check in for that video. Um, Because I'm going to be telling you how, you know, you can really incorporate self-care, what you can do to really gain self-care Self-love, self-acceptance, and self-worth in yourself because this is you really need to focus on that so you can let those insecurities go. It's surrounded by those thoughts, that you, the things that you think about yourself. Maybe you feel like you're not handsome or pretty enough. Maybe you feel like you're lacking. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve these things, but you do because you're a beautiful, you are a beautiful being. I don't know why you feel that way about yourself, you know, but you don't show that to the world. 
Everyone else sees this individual who got it together, who's bad, like so full of confidence. However, on the inside, you know, you're dealing with those insecurities. And it's time. Sometimes I'm guilty of it. We will focus on the outside, all have it all together. But inside, we're a mess. And it's time for you to have the inside match the outside. So May is a month of you taking care of yourself mentally and spiritually. You do that physically already. So mentally and spiritually, you know. It's a time to um, keep that um, motivation in the, the, the forefront of your mind. Because whether you experience it or not, that ultimate relationship that you are watching every love video in the month, every month, is coming. But it is solely depending on you dealing with past insecurities. Letting that stuff go, releasing that ex, releasing that betrayal so you can come into your new beginnings because they're on the front. They're on the crown. You know they're coming. So why even reflect on the past? Throw that out and emerge into the beautiful being that you know that you are. Okay? Trust the signs of your inner guidance on which are leading you to fulfillment. Like I told you, it's leading you to fulfillment. Love is yours. Everything you ever wanted is yours, Leo. And you have the opportunity for the month of May to really bring it into fruition. For, for, oh my God, I'm butchering words, guys. I told you. Watch my video. I told you I butcher words. <laughs> but you have the opportunity to bring that into reality. Bring it into fulfillment. You know? You got it. You got it. The block is the insecurities and the X. Let them go. Move on to the next. You have new beginnings. You have someone that's trying to come up in and offer you so much, Leo. Like, they're trying to offer you so much. Yeah. Look at this. I was just shuffling because I just want to get some more details in the person. And you, what's crazy is you probably think because this person is, you know, handsome or beautiful that they're, you know, conniving. You know, they're a fox. <laughs> they're, you know, fox get a bad rep. However, they're not. They're really genuine with what they want to bring to you and what they want to offer. You know? Before you judge a book, get to know them on a personal le level. Then you make a decision. Listen to your intuition, Leo. Okay? I love you guys. And it's always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I am sending you guys so much love, light, and peace your way. Bye, babies.